Welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. Today I'm in Adobe Edge Animate CC to show you a little bit about how to animate, starting from scratch, how to import an image, how to animate, and how to learn how to use the auto keyframe mode, auto transition mode, and the toggle pin. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and import a, an, an image into Edge Animate. So Edge Animate is very similar to Flash, which is a vector animation program. And this is not so much vector, but it's I can import GIFs and PNGs and JPEGs and also scalable gra vector graphics. So what this really is, is this is animating with HTML5 and CSS3. But instead of having to write the code, we can just move objects around and Adobe will write all the code in the background for us. And we just have the cool animation. So let's go. We'll go to File, Import to import an image. I'm going to import Little Fish, this PNG, transparent background. And there it is. You'll see I can click on it. It automatically adds a layer right here. And it automatically adds an element, which is actually the, the div for this fish. And this is all the stacking order. So I can drag the fish and bring it underneath the plant. You'll see now now the plant, the green plant is on top of the fish. Okay, so I'm going to click on the fish once. And I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. So I'm going to come over to the left where I have my properties, a whole bunch of things I could do, position and size, transformation. And over here I'm going to click on this little link to link the width and the height. That way when I scroll down here, to reduce the width, either by scrolling or just clicking and typing in 200 and pressing enter, you'll see that it'll scale the height and width together. All right, so now I have my fish at a good size, and I'm going to start him off here to the right-hand side of the screen. You'll see he's out of the view. So I created this little edge animate picture so that it looks like the fish is animating within edge itself. Okay, so now the fish is here on the right, and so what I need to do now is at a keyframe. So these are all turned off. I'm going to show you the manual tough way first. So first you need to add a keyframe here to set the position of the fish which is the X position here. I'm just going to click add a keyframe for the left position. I click and hit, you'll see it adds a keyframe on the timeline. We're now at 0, 0 and now I'm going to scroll the playhead which shows you where you are on the timeline from the left to the right to about the two second marker. And then here, I'll add another keyframe. This time I can click in, over here, I can add a keyframe instead of having to click all the way up here in the properties panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little add keyframe button. And you'll see it adds a keyframe over here on the two second marker. And now I can just move the fish. So I'm just adding a keyframe, which is a very important frame in the animation. So you'll see that on keyframe two, my fish is on the left side of the screen. And at the starting point of zero, zero, keyframe one, my fish is on the right hand side. There's no animation at this point. There's just the fish on the right. And he stays there for about two seconds. And just at the two second marker, it switches to the left hand side. To make this animate, I can click on the first keyframe, right click, and select Create Transition. You'll see it fills it in from one keyframe to the left. If I rewind the movie and then press play, you'll see my fish travel across the screen. All right, I'm going to press Command Z to undo everything I've done so far. And now we have the fish one heat once again in its starting position. This time I'm going to make the animation a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and roll over here to the auto keyframe mode. You'll see it's selected, it changes to red. And now I'm going to start my animation steps once again. This time you'll see the fish again is on the zero zero marker. We're at zero zero time and the fish is on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and click the first X to add a keyframe for the left and then this time I'm going to scroll again to the two second frame and on this time I'm not going to add a keyframe I'm just going to simply move the fish to the other side of the stage. You'll see it gets a keyframe added automatically and then I'll right click to create a transition. So you'll see that time it was a little bit quicker. We had auto keyframe on, 
And therefore, because this was on, it automatically adds a keyframe for us whenever I move the object along the stage. I'm going to Command Z that one more time. And this time, we're going to click over here to add the auto transition mode to make the animation even quicker and easier. Again, the animation's on the right. I'll come over here and click on the X to set the left position. I'll drag the playhead to the two second marker and I'll move the fish to the right. And that's all it takes. You'll see it added the keyframe automatically and because I have the auto transition mode on, it also added the transition between the animation. If I now scroll to the left and press play, you'll see I have the animation. Again, I'll Command Z one last time. This time I'm going to go ahead and add the toggle pin. The toggle pin helps you create the to and from keyframes with one single edit. So what you do is you click on the toggle pin and I can drag the toggle pin to the right, which means I'd be setting up the second keyframe first. Well, the second keyframe is the fish on the right hand side, so I don't want to start like that. So I'm going to drag the toggle pin to the other side. But that is one way I can animate. What I want to do though is have the fish go from the right hand side to the left hand side. So I'm going to keep where it is right now, keeping the blue toggle pin is going to say, hey, set a keyframe here for frame one, and then I'm going to move the playhead to the two second marker. And now I'll just simply drag the fish to the left hand side. So this time I never even added a keyframe, but you'll see both keyframes have been added and the transitions. I rewind and simply play the animation. And that's how you animate with Edge Animate using the auto keyframe mode, auto transition mode, and the toggle pin. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.